Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is an immune-mediated disease of the central nervous system and the leading cause of non-traumatic disability in young adults affecting people in the prime of their lives. Recent research has helped identify that a previously overlooked component of the immune system, the B cell, plays a major role in all forms of MS. MS pathogenesis is now seen as a complex and dynamic interaction between different immune cells, namely B cells, T cells and myeloid lineage cells, in which B cells play a pivotal role in the inflammatory component of the disease and in MS-related neurodegeneration. Although disease progression used to only be associated with secondary progressive and primary progressive form of MS, it is now recognised in relapsing remitting MS. High efficacy therapies have unmasked disease progression that begins early in the disease course and is not associated with relapses. In this video, we are focusing on five of the diverse biological processes underlying MS progression. The pathological hallmark of MS is the formation of demyelinating lesions, which may be associated with neuroaxonal damage. This process is related to multifocal inflammation facilitated by the breakdown of the blood-brain barrier, demyelination, oligodendrocyte loss, reactive gliosis and axonal degeneration. Focal inflammation can be detected by standard MRI. Cortical lesions are often located near inflammatory infiltrates in the connective tissue sheets surrounding the brain, called the meninges. Immune cells may accumulate in the meninges, and these aggregates are now also known as ectopic or tertiary lymphoid follicles. The inflammation within the meninges is dominated by CD20 positive B cells and is associated with extensive demyelination along the cortical ribbon and also death of cortical neurons, especially in the superficial layers. The infiltrates are most evident in deep recesses of the brain, called sulci, where flow of cerebrospinal fluid slows or pools this type of chronic inflammation can occur without any obvious signs of blood-brain barrier disruption. Meningeal inflammation may be detected to a modest degree with advanced MRI, but better non-invasive methods are needed. Slowly expanding white matter lesions with smouldering inflammation correlate with MS progression and also occur behind a non-disrupted blood-brain barrier. They are characterised by an inactive centre with few or no macrophages and without signs of remyelination. Slowly over time, there is simmering progression in the centre that leads to loss of axons. At the outer edge, there is a rim of activated myeloid lineage cells, mostly microglia, plus some B cells, CD8 positive T cells and other lymphocytes, which contribute to chronic axonal damage and demyelination that slowly expands over time. Chronic active expanding lesions can now be detected by sequential standard MRI taken over time with special imaging analysis. Diffuse inflammation and gliosis can occur without active infiltration of immune cells through the blood-brain barrier and is more prominent in advanced cases of progressive MS. There is axonal degeneration and demyelination with axonal swellings, modest infiltration of lymphocytes and macrophages, widespread microglial activation and astrogliosis. This is usually associated with a higher burden of cortical lesions. Diffuse inflammation can be detected with special MRI techniques, MR spectroscopy or PET imaging. Again, better and more sensitive methods are needed to detect this change. Although inflammation decreases in most patients over time, neurodegeneration is amplified by factors related to ageing on top of accumulation of brain injury. Iron can accumulate with age in myelin, oligodendrocytes and as well as myeloid lineage cells, especially microglia and macrophages. 
In addition, free radicals, excitotoxins like glutamate, increased calcium levels and signaling proteins from activated immune cells can all contribute to mitochondrial damage and cell death. The central nervous system loses some of its resilience over years of MS disease activity and, when combined with the loss of nerve cells due to normal ageing, can result in slow, progressive worsening of the disease. Age-related neurodegeneration can be detected by MRI sequences that reveal widespread brain atrophy. We've learned so much from clinical trials over the last decade. B-cell targeted therapies have been shown to dramatically suppress new focal lesions, reduce numbers of slowly enlarging lesions and preserve grey matter volume. These lead mm -hmm. to positive effects on disability progression in relapsing MS and in primary progressive MS, especially when treatment is given early. Targeting long-lived B cells and myeloid lineage cells in the nervous system could result in greater protection against progression. Ongoing bench and bedside research of the mechanisms and dose dependencies of B-cell directed therapy are advancing our understanding of MS progression. For the first time, the goal of preventing progression in newly diagnosed patients or halting its march in established progressive MS is now within reach.